Tokyo Globe on your TV screens. I'm your presenter for today, Bridget and Zidu. Yeah, let's do this! Every week on Building the Future and every single day we come up with something that you will be interested in. Well, we have story time, translations, and we also have hmm, my culture. The best part about Q Club that it's always, always teaching you each and every single day something new. You get to learn and explore each and every single day. So if you're not part of the family, well, I urge you to be part of the family. Visit our Q Club Facebook page, which is Q Club Zambia, and you'll be able to be part of the, of the family. And for those who have been following me, Bridget Zulu, on Facebook, I posted something for you guys to visit our Facebook page. I said, if you're able to dance, sing, translate, do all these amazing things with your talent, click the like button, the follow button to our Facebook page to follow us more and be part of the family. Yes, we want you to grow big each and every day. Like I am growing big. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday in November. Wow, Nambula, you are lucky. Some of us, our birthdays were in October. Yeah, it was hot. Summer has gone, but it's now a rainy season. We get to experience the rains around Lusaka and outside Lusaka. In case your area does not experience rains, wait for it. It is coming. There will be floods everywhere. Like it was in town, there were floods everywhere. So they had to like pump the waters and boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we had fun. In the rains at home, I came out when it was raining. I went to dance on the rains. You can do that, but don't do it. You'll get sick at the end of the day since it's no longer hot. It's not October, guys. It's November. So make sure that you are safe. You get to warm up yourself, drink coffee, tea. If you want, you can drink some spices. There's soup, hot soup, porridge. If your mom knows how to prepare porridge, you can also drink some porridge. It is actually soup. So you can actually have it. Wow, if you love it very much like I do, you can also prepare that. But if you know how to prepare it and you want us to come and see in your homes, at your home, we will come and watch you prepare it so that we enjoy the meal together. But in case you don't know, you can learn on Q Club. Just follow our Facebook page, like it and have fun with us. Today we've prepared a lot of things. Of course, handy hand, it's still going on. Follow us. Translations are here. Of course, Bemba Proverbs are done. If you want us to tell you Bemba Proverbs, they are done. Any mission to say they are done, but there's more to everything each and every single day. Mm -hmm. There is more to everything each and every single day. My culture is here. Animal facts, science facts. If you take sciences at school, be able to be glued on the show because we'll teach you each and every single thing every day. As you can see, I'm outside enjoying the weather. It is not raining today. Yes, it is not. So we could party after party. We have to enjoy the environment because it's not raining if it was raining i couldn't have been here i could have been inside mom could have said no 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 mwana wanga ilo kambula uzadu wala chinfine chifuwa malaria ma mosquito ya paka kukapia na kutami ya mvula na hevi ya mpesita kuma mosquitoes so make sure you have a mosquito net and sleep under a mosquito net to avoid catching all these other diseases like malaria and other things for today let's move into our science facts for today Enjoy. Oh, what a wonderful day in Bodylandia. Ain't it, Chloe? Uh. Oh, it's a zombie! Chloe, run for your life! It's me, Derb. I think I'm sick. Sick? Well, why didn't you say so? That's way easier to cure than being a zombie. Nerb MD is on the job. Uranda. Yes, Dr. Nerb? I'm going to need you to clear my schedule for the rest of the day. Cancel my golf outing with the appendix. Yes, sir. Chloe, it looks like you've got yourself a sore throat. I've got you on bed rest and chicken soup. Looks like there is only one thing left to prescribe. What? A bedtime story! Oh, uh, you. Tonight's story is a fairy tale called The Fellowship of the Immune System, Defenders of the Realm. You and I are characters in the story! Once upon a time, there was a beautiful queen who lived in a beautiful castle. The castle was called Castle Chloe, and she took 
good care of it. Here, have an apple, castle. Outside of the pretty castle, there were invaders called germs. There are four major types of germs. Viruses, which thrive in living cells and cause diseases like chickenpox and the flu. Fungi, microscopic organisms that can cause itchy rashes like athlete's foot. Parasites, which can cause diarrhea and other problems. And bacteria, tiny one-celled creatures that cause infections like strep throat and pneumonia. Some bacteria help your body, so not all of them are bad. But these guys sure are. Queen Chloe looked on in horror at the germs on the horizon. She needed the advice of her trusted council on how to proceed. There is a threat to the realm, so I need your help. What do you suggest, Vaccine? I say take care of yourself in a variety of ways before you get sick. Start by getting vaccines, also called shots or immunizations. They help prevent bad illnesses such as whooping cough, tetanus, and the flu. After getting a vaccine, the body is more protected! Good counsel. What say you, hando fingers? Washing one's hands regularly will prevent germ invasion. Apple a day? One should eat nutritious foods. Runny McRunnerson. Get plenty of exercise. Hop, hop, hop. Snoozer the snoozer. Uh, uh, huh? What? what? Oh. Get enough sleep. Oh, time for my nap. Stethoscope the bold. Breathe deep. And get regular medical checkups. Thank you, advisors. By taking your advice, we should be safe. <gasps> what was that? It's a germ invasion! Despite our best efforts, germs can sometimes still get into the body. We need a hero. We need... The Fellowship of the Immune System, Defenders of the Realm! Greetings. I am Sir Nerb Nerblington III, Knight of the Immune System. Sir Nerb Nerblington III? Are you serious? That's the worst name I... As I was saying, Nerd Nerblington III, the handsomest knight in the kingdom, came to save the day. Do not fear the germ hold, your highness, for we have the immune system, a network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to keep one healthy and fight infections. Immune system, a symbol! The immune system is made up of two different kinds of cells often called white blood cells, lymphocytes, present. These guys allow the body to remember and recognize previous invaders to destroy them. Phagocytes, on deck. These guys chew up and devour invading germs. Go forth and fight immune system cells. They can make us sick, but they'll never take our freedom. So that's it? Those cells went off to fight? Yes, your highness, but the war for Castle Chloe's health has just begun. There are battles being fought all over the castle as we speak. Some major battlegrounds in the immune system fight against germs are the body's tonsils and lymph nodes. Oh, so that's why I have swollen glands on the sides of my neck. It's the immune system cells and my lymph nodes working hard to remove germs and make me better. Exacto mundo. Another battleground is located in the spleen, an organ tucked under your rib cage on the left. The spleen, like lymph nodes, helps you fight infections. <coughs> All of that is going on inside me right now? Can I do anything to help the good guys win? You sure can. Sometimes your body can't do it all and needs some help when it's sick. That's when you call in the reinforcements. Grandpa Jebediah Nerb, you know what to do. Fire the antibiotics! Wow, I had no idea there was an epic battle going on in my body. Ooh. 
No wonder I'm so tired. Yeah, it can take a while for your immune system to knock out all of the bad germs. The best thing you can do to help is to take care of yourself and get lots of rest. Yup, exactly like that. The immune system continued to fight, and all through the land, people thanked their heroes. The Fellowship of the Immune System, Defenders of the Realm! Nurb, I'm trying to sleep. Sorry. Hope you guys learned something on our science facts. It's very important for one to know what moves into our body, the mechanisms, every single thing, each and every single part of us is important. Go to the Bible, read your Bibles, guys. It's very important that you read your Bibles. Always be locked up with knowledge each and every single day. Pray to God that God will give you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to understand the human body because there's so much about the human body. Science is just too wide, too broad, and ish. Oh, science, look what you made me do. <laughs> but you have science at school, there's biology, there's physics and chemistry. For those who take such subjects, please be alert, study hard. These are bulky subjects. I didn't say other subjects are not bulky, but science in particular is one of the subjects that you need to concentrate on in case you want to become a doctor, a nurse, and... What else involves science? I think everything involves science apart from journalism. <laughs> but let me say science is each and every, in each and every single day. In, each, in, to, in today to day life, we need to follow up science. Look at me <laughs> using my words here and there. But science is very important. In the Bible it says, if your nose was where your ears are, how would you look? If your eyes were where your mouth is, and if my mouth, just try imagine. Crisscross everything. My mouth is here, then my nose is here. <laughs> I could have been looking weird. But God specifically said, I'm going to place the mouth where it's supposed to be. So he placed it here. The nose where it's supposed to be, here. The ears, here. The nose, here again. The eyes, here. So everything is placed where they're supposed to be. Everything is perfectly post. It's perfectly mashed up where they're supposed to be. Do not feel very bad just because... You don't have a hand maybe you are involved in an accident and you don't have one you still you, you can still move you can still move you're still human being you're still breathing let's thank god each and every single day that you're still breathing and we can still move but right about now let's move on to our translations for today hello hello welcome to today's translations i'm your girl ania and you know what time it is yes it's time for the translations right here on q club and guess what today we are looking at letters we start with the letter o so the letter o today we are going to look at different words which we are familiar with and which we are not familiar with so get your pen book pencil and start writing those words since they're very very important we don't want to forget the words no we don't want to do that so we want to always know those words we want to master them in our minds so that whenever we get the opportunity to write them down when we're at school or when we are somewhere else if we want to talk about something we just use that word you know it just comes in your mind it clicks boom, then you just use the same word so to get started today with our translations we are going to Look at letters which start with the letter O, like I said. So these are the words. So the first word for today is Ocha. Ocha. Ocha is spelled as O-C-H-A. O-C-H-A. What does it mean? Well, Ocha in, mean, in English means to roast, to burn something, or to toast. Mm -hmm. It means to roast toast or to burn something that's what the word ocha means and our second word for today is odzera odzera it is spelled as o d z e r a o d z e r a odzera what does this word mean it means to note or to sleep while sitting up is it possible to sleep while sitting up? I don't know if it's really possible, but that's what the word means. And our third word is oka. Oka. Oka is spelled as O-K-A. O-K-A. 
Oka means to transplant, yes? Maybe, I don't know, maybe a kidney transplant, something like that. But Oka means to transplant. And our fourth word is Omba. Omba. Omba is spelled as O M B A. O M B A. What does Omba mean? It means to sound. Yes. When, I don't know, maybe when you sound, like your voice comes out, the sound of your voice. So it means Omba in Chinyanja, meaning ala Omba voice yake. The same thing, I'm sure that's what the word means. So Omba means to sound. Then, our, for our sixth word for today, this word actually is a very common word. People use it on me, they use it on different people, like they'll use it to describe someone. So our other word is onda. Onda. Onda is spelled as O N D A. O N D A. Onda means to be thin. Oh, we can say Nionda Uyumuntu. That's how I say it usually. Most of the times, I don't say Uyumuntu Nionda. I don't say Uyumuntu Nionda. I don't say that. So I think today I've learned something. It's Uyumuntu Nionda. Not Uyumuntu Nionda. Meaning someone is thin. Okay. Then our next word is Onjezera. Onjezera. Onjezera is for this O. N G E Z A O N G E Z A Onjezera. What does it mean? Konjezera. Konjezera means to add something. When you add something, maybe you add sugar to your tea. Onjezera sugar mchani. Mote. Olo. Onjezera chani. Onjezera mawa ikrapo mawa yenango. That's what onjezera means. It means to add up something. And our other word is Ongola. Ongola. Ongola is put as O N G O L A. O N G O L A. Ongola means to make something straight. So when you make something straight, it means Waongola Jiajin to Ongola. But I think most of the people say Kuyondolola, yes, I think Kuyondolola, something like that, instead of Ongola. So I think I'll be using Ongola instead of Kuyondolola. Then our last word is Ononja. Ononja. Ononja is spelled as O N O N J A. O N O N J A. Ononja means to destroy spoil or waste something so when you destroy something or you spoil it you waste it it means wa so ononja so that's this that's what this word means ononja i think we can also uh, pronounce it as ononga since wa chinto so these are all the words that we had for you on our today's translations do join us next week as we bring to you more translations so thank you for watching this has been anya Thank you so much, Enia. You know, Enia is all about surprises. She has become a serious face sometimes, you know, and she's talking very serious. She wants to be a teacher. That's why she looks like that, guys. Don't, you know? <laughs> That's why she looks like that. Thank you so much, Enia, for those translations. We'll still we'll keep, we'll keep on learning and note it down. Make sure you have your pencil and your pen and your book right in each and every single thing that Enia was, was saying because they might come in an exam. Who knows? For those who are writing exams, Silly to you all your passing. Just study, study, study. Oh no, animal parts of today we have the puffer fish. Oh my god, this fish is so cute. Aww, the puffer fish. It is so cute. Let's look at a puffer fish. The puffer fish, also known as the blowfish and the toadfish, is a medium sized species of fish that inhabits warmer coastal waters around the world. The pufferfish is most well known for its unique and distinctive adaptations that the pufferfish has to defend itself. There are around 120 known species of pufferfish, the second most poisonous creature on the planet after the golden poison frog. The pufferfish 
is found in tropical waters around the world, but they rarely go into the cooler waters. The pufferfish has the remarkable ability to expand its body extremely quickly when faced with danger. Unveiling its long poisonous spikes that cover its body. If a fisherman catches a pufferfish, they will never touch the spikes as they are highly toxic to humans and animals. The pufferfish can grow up to 60 centimeters in length, but the exact length of the pufferfish depends on the species of pufferfish. This type of fish can be found in a variety of colors but can sometimes be hard to identify when they are not inflated. The pufferfish normally has the appearance of the large tadpole with bulging eyes and an elongated snout. Pufferfish are omnivorous animals and eat a variety and plants and animals, pufferfish mainly feed on the algae that grows on the rocks and coral and also the invertebrates that inhabit these areas. Large species of pufferfish will also eat shellfish such as shrimp and crabs and also mollusks. Although there is a number of animals that prey on pufferfish, these predators often meet with a nasty end. When the pufferfish is threatened, it inflates. It inflates its body with air, exposing the long sharp toxic spikes, which normally intimidates the predator into retreating. If, however, an animal does not manage to eat the pufferfish, it will often be poisoned by the toxins in the spikes or the toxin that is released from the organs of the pufferfish when it dies. Despite the toxins in the pufferfish, some animals such as sharks are able to eat the pufferfish without becoming harmed. It is important also to note that not all species of pufferfish are actually poisonous and these species are preyed upon by larger fish, sharks, and also humans. The smallest species of pufferfish in the world is the dwarf pufferfish, also known as the pea pufferfish and the pygmy pufferfish. The dwarf pufferfish is tiny growing to just an inch in length, which is a few centimeters. Despite the fact that the dwarf pufferfish is related to larger species of pufferfish, the dwarf pufferfish is not found in the sea but in just one river in India. Not only does the pufferfish have unique defensive methods but they also have unique breeding methods. The male pufferfish guides the female fish towards the shore where she releases between three and seven eggs. The eggs of the pufferfish are extremely light and float on the surface of the water until they hatch in about a week's time. The pufferfish fry are still not fully developed and have a hard shell that protects them until their limbs begin to grow. The shell of the baby pufferfish then cracks off and the tail and the fin develop. When the pufferfish is big enough, it will swim down and integrate itself into the reef community below. Despite the pufferfish having such a deadly venom, there are some species of pufferfish whose meat is eaten in Japan and Korea as a local delicacy. Special chefs are trained to cut the fish so that the fish does not poison the consumer. Other species of pufferfish produce and release a toxin into their organs when they die to harm the thing that ate them. Oh 
my goodness welcome back guys hope you learned something on our animal facts for today of course the puffer fish is so cute i think it's one of the cutest fish that we have in the seas in the oceans <laughs> i'm so in love with the puffer fish why because looking at a puffer fish it comes in different shapes and sizes but apart from that even different colors how cute is that it's the same with human beings we're in different shapes and sizes <laughs> and different colors skin color tone we're different some are dark lighting complexion but despite everything we're all human beings we're all created by one god and we should learn to embrace and be proud of who we are appreciate and pray to god and say thank you for the life that he's given you today some are dying some are not even alive some are, alive. Some are breathing from oxygen in clinics hospitals some operations but you are alive today so make sure you read your bible pray thank him every day that you are alive make sure you thank him Okay, hello, thank you, Che. Not see one hour, ten minutes, Chan. No, just saying, hi, God. Thank you for today. I love you. Amen. Simple. Very simple, Vivian. To most of them, No, just do it the way you're supposed to do it. It's a relationship between you and God at the end of the day. Not between me and God. Between Martha and God. Between my charity and God. No, it is between you, Joseph, and God. It's between you, Samuel, and God. It's between you, Ashida, and God. So all you have to do is just maintain. Because what you got there is a blessing. If you listen to Pompey, make sure you listen to different artists who help you to maintain. As a puffer fish always swims around in the waters, I also swim around in the air that I breathe and thank God for everything. If a fish can thank God, what of you? So let us learn to thank God every day. Uh-huh. Yes. Let's move into honey ants for today. Yeah, let's get to create in the world of creation. It's time for us to get creative because it's handy hands with me, Bridget, and my friend here. Joshua. Joshua. Joshua, how are you? I'm alright, Bridget. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> well, go ahead. Well, go ahead. <laughs> it's time for us to create, as I said earlier, it's handy hands, guys. And of course, we have so much things decorated for you guys around. Remember, we mentioned something. This is our bag where we put our pens, our. Um, Crayons everything, everything, and, basically yeah. everything that we are using. <laughs> everything that we are using. Yep. We also have these babies over here. These are our stickers. Today stickers. we'll be, we will be drawing a. What will we be doing? So today we'll be doing a, um, a, a, a tree. A, a tree. tree. Um, and adding up some stickers <laughs> over there. Yeah. So it's going to be something like this. So this is how it's going to look like. See this, Bridget? It looks pretty. <laughs> awesome. Aww. Bringing a tree alive is something very hard, but something that you create and you tell it to come alive, it's something very simple. So I'll create Joshua and tell him, Joshua, walk. And then you will walk. <laughs> so we'll be telling our tree what to do. So we'll create it and say, let there be a tree. Boom, 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 boom. A tree a shall tree. have fruit, leaves, sun shall shine on it. <laughs> For it to bear Inclu fruit. Including the clouds. <laughs> clouds as well. Rainfall. So you tell us what we start with. So, um, first of all, we have to start with planning. Since I already did my planning and I already done like half mm -hmm. of it, I have to get my pieces that I did. I did a couple of pieces. Oh, can you just hand these over to me, Bridget? So I did a couple of pieces. I have like um, four leaves over here. Four leaves. Four leaves and three cut out clouds three mm -hmm. and some <laughs> some red hearts over here oh so these are apples mm -hmm. they're yeah, apples mm -hmm. fruits anyway so and some butterflies, butterflies. two oh. butterflies over here i'll put one away <laughs> butterfly so then what we have to do is we get a bobbin over here and we do a little bit sketching so a sketch mm -hmm. Little bit sketching so that we know it gives us a little bit of guideline. Okay, I can see here it's all lined up and some guidelines yep. for you guys to sketch in case you don't know how yep. to sketch. So we have to do a quick sketch. So, um, really quick, we have to be really quick. quick sketch. Next time yep. I'll bring my pen in my pen. <laughs> so, so that I forgot everything. Oh, we have everything, such so that I forgot paper. Yeah. We should. <laughs> 
You should. So it's actually black ball pen. A black ball pen. Do you have a black ball pen in here? So can I can I have can I have blue? So he's requesting for blue. Mm -hmm. So we have blue. Uh, just sketch it like over there. Some quick sketch. Okay. What else do you need? Great. Just like that. Great. So this is how it appears like this. This is a sketch of a tree that we have. So then what you have to do next is um, get our patches of stickers. Patches of stickers. Vision. I was waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> patches of stickers. Um, we have to start with with our little hearts. Oh, you guys. <laughs> our little fruits over here. Our hearts. So Bridget, could you please pass me the... Yeah, I'm ready. I was waiting for it. <laughs> I have to get my cotton thread and um, needle. So you in case people this asking me, which cotton thread, which needle, be specific. Black cotton thread. Mm -hmm. We use black over black here. Black cotton thread. Mm -hmm. We use black. Reason being is uh, the black color is dull, you know. <laughs> it's dull. <laughs> and does this say sketching and creating that one, bringing mm -hmm. that one alive. We brought a volcano alive, guys. So volcano collapsing. Poof! <laughs> Here to take geography. These are one of the things that you can have in your rooms. All you have to do is just stick it in your room. The back of it looks like this. Pretty much something that you would decorate. Artistic. Artistic, as he calls yeah. it. Artistic. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like this. And it's he used oh he's so creative i have a creative friend these are these are what are these these are buttons buttons so he knocked out one buttons. so you had something you had a clothing that wasn't okay then you just removed then it then i removed the buttons Aww. instead of me throwing them away Everything recycled away. Mm -hmm. like, we recycle buttons on q club guys as you can see these are buttons three then he uses cotton British volcano alive. So actually, Bridget, we are done with one stitch over there. This is how oh, it looks look at like. Oh, look talking and talking. It looks like so this. cute. <laughs> like a puffer fish. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so then we go to the next um, stitch. Okay. So what we do here, our rule is to fasten in and fasten out. Fasten out. Fasten in and fasten out. Okay. That's our rule. So simple. Fasten so it in. So he's fastening in. Oh. Oh, I can Hold have that. Me, Bridget. Thank you. Fasten it in. And we fasten it in. <laughs> fasten out. Okay. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll grab all the stickers away from you. Great. And I'll be passing them over. You can do this with a friend at home. Be with help with the friend. When somebody is creating something, support them. One way of supporting just be there all the time for them to help them lend a hand for them like he wouldn't do all this without me right 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 yes you're 100 percent right oh let him say all right you guys <laughs> i feel so special right now so when somebody so, needs a hand lend a hand to them help them out so what we did if you're asking what materials what did we recycle when you buy wigs there are those wigs that exactly. we buy then out of it, all you have to do is just cut out what you want to use. There are these wigs. You know how you ladies do your hair. Some of us have natural wigs. So any wig that you have, you can just get that So can I, can I have piece. cotton, Bridget? A cotton? Mm -hmm. oh, so this is how to look cotton. like. Done. We are bringing it alive, guys. It's coming alive. So then we get the, our last heart over here. I can help you mm -hmm. with the... With okay. Like this. Just and like that? Okay. Yeah, it's in. Um, just cut it out? Just cut it just, out? Just in. I told you every time she becomes in the scissors, how can you forget it? Ah, you know, we forget. Ah, we it's forget. Not every, it's not everything that we remember, you know? Leaves. We have four leaves. And it, four leaves have like... As you can see, their colors are different. different. This is a bit lighter and this is a bit darker. Meaning the ones that are a bit lighter are a bit fresh than these other ones. So these ones, other ones, I think they'll be old very soon. So actually, they'll dry out. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, uh, the difference in color in, in art, we call it value. Value. Mm -hmm. We call so it the value. value of the other darker green and the other value of the lighter green is different. Yeah. Exactly. It's like life. <laughs> yeah. Life. <laughs> yeah. And we also okay. have this yellow orangey thingy over here is our sun. That's the sun. The sun. Butterflies, he chose red and purple and purple. brownish. A bit of red, purplish and brownish. The other one, the clouds. Oh, The clouds pretty much whatever color it is. <laughs> he used <laughs> our clouds. And also all the details that are on displayed as he's doing that. I can explain everything since he taught me. If you have such containers in the house, and you keep water just for decoration if you have a tree house around like i'm planning to have a tree house you can be visiting <laughs> you'll be finding pretty much these things around my house oh the hearts are all over so what will be there is an indication a label everything that does not have a label make sure they have a label before you buy them you don't know who who is the owner who manufactured from what company we all know this pretty much this famous company that is around where boom comes from these biscuits and everything also water is supposed to come from somewhere of course maybe it's better so to make a call <laughs> plus drinking so, water is nice guys yeah it's nice I always like keep water, the body dehydrated so. <laughs> not dehydrated but hydrated, hydrated. <laughs> so the water label is here we have this big drop of water just here and you got in blue in blue it looks greenish though, and limeish, <laughs> but it's in blue. <laughs> then this is tap, silo tap. Mm -hmm. Tap it all over. So we are done with. This guy is so quick, guys. So, so we have quick. to. So could you please pass? Um, what? What? what let's what, have what? let's have one leaf. One leaf mm -hmm. coming on its way. Okay. There okay. you go. So we just stick it up here, right there. Just like this. Awesome. There's this leaf that we're touching, the bigger one, just mm -hmm. here. Then our hearts are here. Then we had one heart falling off from a tree, just like a fruit when it's falling off from a tree. Boom! <laughs> it's down there, just like he did down there. Just like I did here. Just here. Everything. You fasten in, you fasten out. Fasten out. out. Fasten well, almost in. done, guys. Don't worry. I know you'll be like, how is it going to look like? How is it going to look like? So Relax, this, is the, this is a, I, I actually can't wait to see the end of this. You actually, he doesn't really know as well. I've never done this before, you know. Oh, you <laughs> just sketched it on the paper. <laughs> He's so creative. Fasten it, fasten that. No. We're almost we have dead. To, we have to make sure that it's tight like this. So, so that they don't fall we're off. done with... We're done um, with our first leaf, So guys. can I can I have another leaf, Bridget? Second leaf. Mm -hmm. Which one? The big one? The small one? The which big one? one? Which one? The okay, one. there you go. <laughs> Just add it up up to here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fastening in again. Fasten it in. Fasten a lot. Yeah. Fasten <laughs> out. Whoa. I think he needs me to give him some. Oh, we <laughs> dropped our sun. Oops. Fasten it in. Fasten it in. Fasten out. Yep. Pass it in again. Oh. Pass it out. Pass it out. I think you will be in need of another thread. What in our bag? Bag? What do you have? So actually, in yeah. there, I've got I've got some some pencils and some some ball pins. Different colors. Guess you don't know how a pen. And the pencil looks like they look like this. <laughs> Different colors. There's blue. There's red. There's mm -hmm. black. And a marker. We don't have crayons today right. and chalk. I yeah, know today I didn't bring along with crayons. <laughs> so this is how oh, it will look like. So cute. So this is the second one. We have to go to the third one. Would you please pass third me the third one? one? Yeah, I will mm -hmm. pass you the third one. Thank awesome. you. <laughs> so just we had reminded to me it. of a song. 
So what are what following our guideline? Remember, yeah, guys, before you do something like this, always, always have somewhere where guidelines. you follow guidelines. Of course, each and every Fit. single thing that you do, plan. That's why he mentioned of planning. So he right. planned Planning's on a important. paper. He planned on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. and now he's putting it into action. He's creating something. So before you create and before you think, always imagine in your imagination world, in your world of imagination. It's always important to explore imagination, you know? Yeah, explore. And if you don't know how to explore, close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Just walk up that little friend of yours that looks like you, so weird and cute, <laughs> and go on with him. Explore together in your imagination world. Great. So can I please have another thread? It's here. So this is how it will look like, like this. Awesome. Guys, we're bringing creation. So we have a thread. See how I'm, I'm so, mm -hmm. so helpful. Just twist it in like that, then cut it there off. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Always have a friend when you're doing this. See how he's using it? Just Always have a partner. <laughs> and I'm bringing everything for him. So can I please have another another last leaf. last leaf that we have in the house Great. let there be a leaf and there was a leaf <laughs> on a tree <laughs> so we just patch it up over there patching it everything up Great. there we go mm -hmm. so it's our last leaf it's over here the last one he's doing is here is the one he's doing the last one mm -hmm. Oh, and the beautiful part is that we're going to have butterflies around. Oh, so you can see the and butterflies some, are here. And some clouds. And some clouds and the sun. And the sun. I actually can't wait to see the part where it gets to, to fasten in the clouds. Oh, <laughs> I think that's a tough one, right? Uh, it, it is tough. But? But it's easy. Oh, <laughs> look at you. It's easy. So like that now we are done with our leaves <laughs> our four leaves we are I done with patching the oh just like God. that so then what we have to do next is um we have to get um oh butterflies butterflies butterflies, butterflies. yeah mm -hmm. butterflies so one butterfly comes one butterfly there. two butterflies okay Goes over there. You know, creation is so beautiful and amazing. Learn to explore. Oh, ah, you will see how beautiful it is. So it's like that song we always sing in church. We call out to dry bones, come alive. So this this tree, right? That was so dry. It was a bone. <laughs> then now we're putting in meat and everything. We're bringing it back to life. <laughs> and we're bringing it back to life. Like, oh, like, 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 like in the Bible, what Ezekiel did? To dry bones, of course. Brought the bones back to life. <laughs> of course, with the help of a partner. With the help of a partner. Which was God. God. <laughs> the Holy Spirit was in him. So we are, we are done with, with, patching up, with patching up our... Uh, oh, butterfly. It looks so cute. Here. So we go to the next butterfly. So this one, I think it would just be over there. It's flying. Hi, fly, fly, fly away, fly, fly, fly away. Butterflies are nice. What do you think about butterflies, Bridget? Butterflies are so pretty. If I would have a chance to become an animal, an insect, and everything, I think being a butterfly and a peacock would be amazing. Why because a butterfly? They're so beautiful and cute, <laughs> and so adorable. Like you know, you, you know, you know what the butterfly represents in my eyes. What? Freedom. Oh, freedom. Do you know what an eagle represents in my eyes? Uh, freedom, yes. man. Freedom. <laughs> oh. So it's like these things, they have something in common. I think something that can fly eagles. has freedom. How about an owl? An owl. Mm -hmm. mm, wisdom. Wisdom. Mm. Oh. And <laughs> knowledge. <Great. laughs> when you look at an owl, it's Great. so lazy and an owl. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're done with our patching over there. Right. See how it looks? See how beautiful creation awesome. needs to look before God created everything. Like he just so then we go to the sun. sun, 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 sun. Uh, we get the sun. And the clouds will be the last one. Everything that you're seeing here is being done. 
So we are doing the son over there. We just we are just remaining with the father. The father, the clouds. <laughs> Which is the clouds. Okay. And in case you're asking him why he always puts his logs and everything, this is his logo. Are these hills or mountains? These are mountains. And this there's is the a, sun. There's, a, there's two mountains and one sun with seven rays. Wow. And one dot in the middle. Wow. Where did you get this idea? Because I know I have a logo and this is, is not too complicated like this one. So how I got the idea was, um, it was sunny that day. So <laughs> how old just, were you? <laughs> um, that was... Let's just say a year ago. A year ago? So you said all oh, this creation a year ago? A year ago. Oh. No, it's a journey, you know? It's a journey. It's a journey. Yeah. Life so, is a journey. we've pushed our sun on the corner there. Many with our clouds. Our the last clouds. thing that we're going to do, our clouds. Hang That's in there, nice guys. Thing. I know you want to see how it looks like. Just hang <laughs> in there. <laughs> I'm actually doing this quick. Yeah, this is a bit quicker than everything. This is a This is a Are we done? Uh, we are Lisa? remaining with our last cloud. Uh, Could you please oh, pass me the last cloud? I think you got it. I got it? So oh! It's appeared. And this is how it cloud. looks like. So we just look for where to put it. I think it. only yeah. two are okay. Only two are okay. Yeah. Because hmm. we had two on the picture, isn't it? It's actually three. See. So three. we're going to shorten this one because the other one looks like it. So it will be here. <laughs> yeah. It will be there. There. See, I'm even telling him where to put them. There. <laughs> In life, you can have beautiful ideas, but you don't know how to to plan them. Exactly. So you have a friend to help you out how to plan. Don't pick up anyone, guys. They might steal your <laughs> plans, oh. <laughs> and you wouldn't know how to do it them, oh. But so you know, but you know, but you know what, Bridget? Pens, oh. Many people have tried like stealing my ideas and stuff, but they can't, you know. Cause you are with the plan. It's mine. You know how to plan everything. It's in my head. It's in. It's so even when, in so even when they steal one idea. They'll come back to me and steal another, another idea. Another <laughs> idea when you all now for have how, it Now, for it how long it. are they going to be doing that? I think know? they won't manage. Because once you steal one thing from me, one baby, you won't come back and steal my other baby. Like, all my babies <laughs> too. <laughs> so, my babies, what I simply so mean is great. my ideas. We are done. Eh, 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 eh. Like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Can you feel us here? So, Wait, 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 hold your waiting, excitement. Waiting. Would you please hold this for me? Okay. Can I, I can I please have a black bobbin? I think he's planning to put his log now. Mm -hmm. In case he steal it, he can't mm -hmm. steal it. Okay. No room for stealing. It's room to work hard and have your own ideas and put so people. The last thing that we have to do is apply a little bit of shading on the on the on the on, on the, the base there. Yeah. On, okay. on the base. Oh, just like what we did there. Mm -hmm. Best. Some shading. Yeah, yeah. You have to make sure, guys, that it's very neat. It's neat. It's just that I'm doing it quick here, so it's it's kind of quickly neat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that quickly what you're doing as quickly neat? So at least you've learned some new word from him. Quickly neat. You quickly neat. <laughs> just like that. And we are done. clouds can move. We can actually move our clouds like they're moving. <laughs> like the way clouds move. Like this. this is beautiful. I need to hold this. So we have a tree. Full tree over here. We've just brought something to life. Let there be a tree with leaves, clouds, sun, butterflies, and a fallen apple. <laughs> this is beautiful. So one thing that I created before was this. This was his first creation. Look at this boy. And you think we advise you to sit on such talents? Ha! Huh? Aye, man. No! 
Come on and Q Club and join the club. Come on and Q Club and join the family like he did. Such exactly. creation needs to be exposed. Who knows? And the leaves are even moving. Like, let me blow. Wind. Yeah! <laughs> They're moving! Oh! We're, just, we're just closing the segments with something beautiful that we've created. We have created and they're moving. They're shaking, they're shaking, they're shaking. Bye, guys! We're back! Oh my god, I'm so tired. Aww, we're creating and creating and creating. But I'm so excited that we came up with something very beautiful at the end of the day. Never forget, don't sit on your talent. Always, always bring it on on board on Q Club and we'll accommodate your talent. And something that I really love doing the most in my life is storytelling. Banari banari. Banari banari. Banari banari. Banari banari. Tiri donse. Banari banari. Tiri donse. Tiri donse. Eh. Pano pa Q Club. Tushimi tia mba. So ziurunga neni pa mozi pa mpando munga ina zi. Nga usuka mambareleke zako za piti za fest. Panari panari. Tiri tonsi. Panari kalulu. Na watotoiz. So kalulu na totoiz ala. Lezo funa nyumba yon karamu. Kaya ni muzi vantai miyambula. Vini yama vima funika vabisa mabisa mwe vima nkala. So kalulu na totoiz. Lezo minyani na panyumba yi mozi. So vene la nyumba wabwa kambati, vene zafu na mchiti, za kuika ni patani, pa resi. I resi mzata manga mweva vidi, aza winandaza tenga chani, aza tenga nyumba. So wakarulu weza na viri, masika ngata mangi, akakaone ntu mendo kufupika. Onani mweka one kela, kakangata mangi, ndewa ntu wangata mangi yao. Onani ini njine chimtari, vimendo vitari, na vienye jimani ingi, nione kachewa vienye jimani ingi. Bawalan kan aje bangsa, oh, batutu izin bawalan langgan ni dah. Kalau orang setting aso, it's fine. Tiada sih tabuan, tiada racing. Ni bawalan ikhlas racing, ni kalau tu nama tutu iz. Bayar ambaris, kita mangga, kita mangga, kita mangga, kita mangga, kita mangga, kita mangga. Pesi pati hari pun ada buah pas. Pati mangga, pati mangga, kalau tu, pati mangga, pati tutu iz, pati mangga cepat pangono pangono, macam nak mizi. Pati mangga cepat pangono pangono, pangono pangono. Kalau tu bebe mana? Tiama anga vezi mu speed yo APCs. Kutiama anga wabwa pita, wabwa fika chae paka, paka, paka foresti, foresti so. Ni mwema na nkarira, taa narema, fesh ninka, fesh ninkari. Ali kutari mgaizu, au sazi ono tama anga. Baita mi ni uka. Niza wina no wina, zampe za kapina haka ibono fika. Ni mwema na gonera wakaluto. Tatoe zi mwena na tama angira, pangono pangono, pangono pangono. Pangono pangono, ango tema anga wapeza wakarudu nishwarigone, wapitilia pangono pangono. Sala pangepo na sound, pangono pangono, wabwayo wana finish na ini, pangono pangono tema anga. Wawuka wakarudu kuona pwela Afrika Totoiz, wana nishwaripati. Tari wa Totoiz, wana tema anga. Wanda na finish na ini, wawina no wina, wakarudu wada abwa, wabwabwabwabwa tema anga, kukuka kutema anga. Nishiki totoezo na wina kudala na kashini kape ya ni mwana ntengela chati. Ha tengela nyumba ija totoezi. Waka luru kuruza noruza na kashini kape la. So you guys, what have you learned from today's story? As for me, I've learned that in each and every single thing that we do, we should not learn to look down on other people. We shouldn't look down on other people because you will never know what they are capable of doing or what they are capable of bringing on the table. Just because someone is short does not mean they cannot run or jump. Just because someone doesn't have a hand does not mean they cannot touch or feel. Just because someone doesn't have sight does not mean they cannot see. At the end of the day, we're all human beings. Let us not learn to look down on other people. Always believe in your friends, because in believing in them, you're actually boosting up self-esteem and self-composure in them. Always support your friends. Never look down on other people. Even how little or small or short or big they might be, you never know what they might come their way. That's all we had for you today, guys. In any kind of show, so we're moving to Kochi time. We saw a pamanje. Tengan mafonianu. Mhm. 
Mukatenga ma phone yanu. Let's go on a selfie break before we close the show. Come on, guys. <laughs> yes, that's all. We had some fun on a selfie break, but we're closing the show. Remember, we had so much fun. We were creating. We went to discover. From discovering, we went more into the science world and we learned so much more about the body and other things as well, other mechanisms that we have. And we also had something on translations. We had story time, which we had for you today on the table. It was so amazing. Oh, 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 Takoma oh, 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 o